We wanna know why, we wanna know how So ask us now, bow wow meow Oh hi, are you back to see the rest of the Children's Museum of Memphis with us? I'm glad you're back. There's more to see. Can you guess who I'm pretending to be? We'll give you a hint. We're at Pride Rock from the Lion King. And I'm a baby lion. Simba! Yep, I'm pretending to be Simba. It sure is fun to pretend. Last episode, we were pretending to be airline pilots in the cockpit of a really big airplane. But today, we are in the tooth room. We're pretending to be dentists. Look at us in this mouth. It's got some wobbly teeth. Let's go do some work on this guy. He's got a big mouth. Makes it easy to work on his teeth. Have you been to the dentist before? Can you open your mouth really wide like they want you to do at the dentist and stick out your tongue? Ah! Uh... Ha ha ha! That's perfect! I'm sure you know the best way to keep your teeth clean, right? You chew on bones! What? nuh -uh. Dog, these are human kids, not puppies! They need to brush their teeth, not chew bones. Oops, you're right. You need to brush your teeth like this. All that brushing and don't forget flossing helps make your teeth happy like these little guys. And that makes your dentist happy too. And you'll be happy when you're older and have learned to keep your teeth healthy. Thankfully, you have two sets of teeth. Your baby teeth and your grown-up teeth. And do you know the best way to show off your teeth? Growling! Grrr. Dog, kids don't growl, do you? We can. Grrr. I think they can growl really good. Well, I think the better way to show off your teeth is to smile really big. What makes you smile really big? Sticking my head out the window when we're driving. Being out in nature makes me smile. Like next to this tree. Hi, cat and dog. Do you know what makes me smile? Hi, Mr. Tree. What makes you smile? I love seeing people pick up garbage and recycling, too. It helps protect me and the Earth from pollution. Check out this cool graphic at the museum about recycling. First, you need to check if it's clean and dry to throw it in the recycle bin. If it's wet or has food on it, you have to throw it out or put it in the compost. Empty all the liquids and all the food out to recycle it. In some places, you need to separate the paper and the cardboard recycling from the plastics and the glass recycling. By doing this, you help make new products out of old materials. That's what recycling is all about. And it helps keep nature from being so polluted. Don't you agree, Mr. Bear? <coughs> we'll take that as a yes. How about you, Eagle? Do you like it when people recycle? That means yes. But what about some other animals? Let's do some rock climbing and find out. <laughs> Look, a mountain goat! c c, -c cat There's a snake! next to a rattlesnake. What should I do, cat? Stay calm, don't panic, and move away slowly. That was pretty scary, cat. But it's pretty rare to get bitten by a rattlesnake unless you try to bother it. You're right, dog. But they can be pretty dangerous if you get too close. Just like tornadoes. Bow wow! The museum has a real tornado inside of it? Well, it's a model of a tornado, not the real thing. But look how mesmerizing it is to look at. Just like the snake, it's beautiful, but also dangerous. Rattlesnakes and tornadoes can both be dangerous. But what about earthquakes? The museum has this really cool model of an earthquake. 
Oh yes, earthquakes can be really dangerous too, dog. They can knock over whole buildings, not just toy model buildings. Have you ever been in an earthquake? No, are they silly? They don't happen everywhere, but in some places, earthquakes can be common. I've been in a few earthquakes. They can make things fall off the walls and make it impossible to walk. I think earthquakes can definitely be scary, but they're also very interesting. What makes an earthquake happen, Kat? Well, a really simplified look at the structure of the Earth shows us that there is an inner core, an outer core, the mantle, and the crust. The crust is made up of pieces, kind of like weird puzzle pieces that don't connect perfectly and don't sit firmly on the mantle. When the pieces, called tectonic plates, bump into each other, they make earthquakes. And you can't forget volcanoes. They also make earthquakes. Wow, wow! There sure is a lot of cool stuff to learn about, right, dog? I can't believe how much. Look over here at this exhibit. Here's another thing to learn about. Well, I see that it has the alphabet. Well, what are all the dots for? That's called Braille. What's Braille? Well, Braille is a type of writing so that people who are blind and can't see can still read. What? That's amazing, dog! Even if you can't see the letters, you can still learn how to read by learning to feel these bumps? Yep, isn't that so cool? I wish I could read Braille, but I never needed to learn how. Since there are so many things to learn, it's hard to make time to learn everything. A lot of people only learn Braille because they need it. Do you know anyone who can read Braille? I don't know, Cat. It's always okay not to know things. There's always more to learn for your whole life. Even when I'm old, dog? Yep, even when you're old, it's still fun to learn. You know what else is still pretty fun, even when you get older? What? Riding a carousel! Will you come ride on it with us? Yay, yeah, have fun! We hope you had so much fun with us at the Children's Museum of Memphis. We're going to get back on the road and head to the next part of our road trip. I'll give you a hint. It's at a farm. If you want to see our next episode and do some fun and silly stuff with us on a farm, please subscribe with us. There's always something new to learn. Meow. Bye, everyone.